All right, we're going to stick with this same problem here on D and E. And remember, Tori's goal was to reach $7,000. Back up in the original problem, we said that her goal up here was to get $7,000 for college. So how long will that actually take? Well, one of the things we can do is, first off, just think about our equation. Our equation back up here in part A. So let's go ahead and write that equation down. 475 plus 125 W is going to be equal to the total amount of money. And in this case, we want to know for $7,000, how long does that take? So we can now look at putting in $7,000 for our total. And now let's go ahead and work backwards and solve for that. So just like we did before, we're going to subtract 475 from both sides. And that leaves us with 125W equals uh, 7,000 minus 475 would be what? So I'm going to try to do this without a calculator. So 6525. Right? Check my work there. All right. And then, so 125 times a certain number of weeks is going to get us to that 6525. So now uh, we'll work backwards and divide both sides by 125. So 1W is equal to, and I will now punch this into our calculator, right? So we got um, 6525 divided by 125. So 52.2 actually. So 52.2 weeks. So a little bit over 52 weeks. That's how long that took. All right, plot the point on the graph below that represents the number of weeks to save $7,000. Write the coordinates next to the point. How many years is this? All right, so $7,000, and we just saw that here, so we're going over to the line, and um, that is right there. And we follow that down to the x-axis, and the x-axis on this scale here is actually going up by twos, right? So this is like 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. So 52. Now on there, I, with the detail that we have, it certainly looks like it's 52 weeks and $7,000. Um, so it looks like 52, 7,000. We actually now know, because we just solved it above, that it's actually equal to 52.2 weeks, and that's when she reaches $7,000. So um, either way, we're pretty much right on the mark with 52 weeks here. And how many years is that? So hopefully we know approximately how many weeks are in a year. And 52 is the number. So 52 weeks is one year. All right, so... It's actually not even exactly 52 weeks. If you take 365 days and divide it by 52, um, it's a little bit over uh, seven days in a week or seven days in a week. Let's go reverse times 52 weeks is actually 364 days. So actually 52.2 is actually even a little bit closer to the technical year amount. But in any case... Uh, it takes her a year to save that $7,000.